Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brogan and I do lots of home and lifestyle and travel vlogs here on my channel, so please subscribe if you're not already. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I bought a refurbished Dyson Air Wrap hair dry styler whatever the hair product that apparently will make you want to throw away all your other hair care tools so i know that these are really expensive and i figured if i'm going to try it i wanted to get the best price possible because they are crazy so i bought a refurbished one it's just arrived as you can see i am not ready for the day so i'm going to jump in the shower get my makeup on and we're going to unbox it, see what it's like, and talk to you a bit about it, and then try it for the first time ever. Because I've never tried a Dyson Air app, have no idea if I'm going to like it or not. But let's just actually open up the box itself, the cardboard. <gasps> no. Oh no, I just put the scissors straight through the actual packaging. Oh no. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I wish that was on the bottom. Never mind, these things happen. All right, we'll open it properly once I've showered. Good start, good start. Okay, fresh out the shower. Ignore my little hair turban. I, uh, I got this in a little shop in Liverpool. It was like a Japanese shop. And yeah, it looks like I'm wearing a tea cosy on my head. But I want to get this open. I honestly have been beating myself up for the last 10, 15 minutes about this line that I've now made on my lovely leather Dyson box. But... Hey, I actually thought it would come in its own casing box, like a cardboard box, which is why I think I was so keen just to, you know, do the scissors through it. But nonetheless, we are going to get this open. So let's see what's inside. So we've got the nice brown leather case. And when you open it up, we've got some information. Um, Dyson refurbished machines. Refurbished machines have either been previously sold by Dyson and returned or incurred minor cosmetic damage during handling. So most appliances they come with two year guarantee but with a refurbished one you get one year I believe or this one says one year anyway on the box. Then we've got the mat. Now on first impressions that does have sort of like finger marks on it and it looks like it has obviously been used a little bit i don't know if you can really see on camera there's not much damage at all it just does look like it's been slightly used so something worth noting and then how to curl your hair and then we have the machine itself so let's take a look at this because i'm really intrigued on first impressions if there's any damage or does it look brand new do you know what? That absolutely looks brand spankers. Again, this looks pretty brand new, unless they've added sort of like the stickers on the plugs and whatever. There's no major marks on that. And then we have the accessories. Oh my goodness, how cool is this? That you can just sort of take it away with you like this. So this is the hairdryer bit. Then we have these two thicker barrels, the two smaller ones. Again, all of them look absolutely fine on first impressions. Oh, it looks like some sort of, is that a cleaning brush or something? Again, that looks absolutely fine. And then we have the actual hairbrush. Again, there looks like there's no marks. It looks brand new. The actual box itself, apart from the stupid mark I made, um, is also fine. If I hadn't made that silly line. Cool, so that's the unboxing. Pop it back in and get set up. Basically, long story short, I, like many other people, have wanted the Dyson Air app for ages and I just couldn't justify the money and every time I spoke to people that have one, they kept telling me it was worth it and they use it all the time and the results are so good. And so I went on the website and I saw they were £450, but they also had a refurbished section where they had a couple of different models for £100 less. So £359.99, which is still crazy money. But then when I got my email or my confirmation, it said I'd saved £40. So I don't know if the one I picked used to be £400. Either way, I saved a little bit of money, not an awful lot. Um, but I was intrigued to see if it was worth buying a refurbished one and sharing that experience with you. So it looks like we've got a little unlock button here to take off the attachment. And then when you put it in, it automatically locks it. So that's not coming off. So 
So that's the hair brush. In terms of the brush, I know they do a soft one. This is the hard one. From the research I did, I think you're meant to blow dry 90% dry and then the last bit is when we're gonna do the curling. I know I have naturally curly hair, like I said, but one of the best things is I love the luxury of having my natural curls and then blow drying and styling my hair so I feel a bit more put together. We've got three settings going on. I don't know if that's how powerful we go, but there's three. Then we've got cold and then two red buttons, so for warm. And I think, oh, I think you push that up to the top and it goes cold, it blasts cold. But let's just let's just go for it and then I'll separate into sections to see what this is like. Do you know what? I'm not all that fussed about the hairbrush tool. So I'm gonna switch over and see if that's a bit better. And then I'll take my, I've got a Tangle Teaser blow dry brush here and I'll do it how I normally would like that. Oh yeah, that's better. First layer. I'm actually pretty impressed because my hair is normally quite frizzy and I always straighten it if I'm having it straight but obviously we are going to be curling it so I'm not so fussed about it like being dead straight. That feels pretty dry. I know it said 90% dry and then going with the curling but that feels pretty good. Right, next layer. <laughs> Okay, other things I've noticed, it's very lightweight. My other hair dryer is so much heavier. Third and final section. Sometimes I do this section in, in two, but we'll see how the hair dryer likes it. I'm gonna do this section with another Tangle Teaser brush I have, um, this one. So this is a great brush, so let's give this a go. All right, I've just been watching some videos and look at this. Oh my goodness. So I used the hairdryer just like that to get off the wet. But you can actually, I mean, look how long her hair is. It's crazy. But you can put the hair through the attachment and then blow dry down. Oh my gosh, what a game changer. Okay, my hair is mostly dry now. I've got the window open because so I started to get warm. Um, it does feel, my hair, I mean, it looks really quite frizzy. I think I might watch the tutorial first. Hold a section of damp hair. Oh, damp. I feel like this totally defeats the point, but otherwise I won't get the curls if the hair's too dry, will I? I'm not sure if these two are the same size. They look the same. Oh guys, I don't know whether to go thicker or thinner. I think we'll go for the thin one. So this whole process could have been a lot quicker if I didn't spend so much time drying. I was quite intrigued to see how well the hair dry did anyway because I will want to blow dry my hair straight sometimes. As you can see, this is my natural curl anyway, so sort of keep that in mind because I do have natural curls. Oh. Great start. I think I need to rewatch the video. Switch barrel direction. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. So, how do I know if that's the right way or not? Oh, is that why there's two? That's why there's two, guys. They go different ways. So, we want the hair. Is that right? Have I curled that the right way? I haven't, have I? That's going towards my face. That is a pretty good curl though. I don't know if you can like see the bounce on that. But can we recreate that over here, please? Oh. How long do you do it for? Until it's dry? All right, that is a pretty thick curl. Oh, wow. I feel like there's a lot of pressure for me to get this right and it looking really lovely for this video, but um, the reality is it's probably gonna look absolutely trash on my first attempt. My gut feeling wants to wrap it round the thing, but I know that you're not meant to do that. Like I want to wrap it, but. First layer is not looking as cute as I'd like. I'm just gonna use a scrunchie to pull it back so that I can get to the next layers. They said damp to touch, didn't they? This is quite dry. And I think you're meant to go up with the cold to like lock in the curl, but. It looks like I've had it in rollers, but I'm gonna ignore that because I know they'll obviously drop. 
we obviously have a bit of a clumping scenario going on here because I've curled them all one way so I obviously need to be doing some one way and some the other I need to do a lot of practice because this is looking all over the place it's very bouncy I know that obviously it will drop but it's really pretty like the curls look gorgeous I don't know how well you are able to see this but they're looking good it's just a bit all over the place at the moment because I'm getting used to using it right I've done my makeup I've put a hairband in because the front was not looking cute and it was spoiling how nice the rest was looking so I have got a hairband in but on first attempt first impression didn't watch any tutorials apart from the 30 second Dyson one just then I think this is quite good and considering I was meant to have it damp which it definitely wasn't I think I can probably get better at this hello i just wanted to jump back in because i have really learned a lot about the air wrap over the last week and a bit so since i filmed those clips i've used it quite a lot and i've just finished blow drying my whole head with just the dryer there's no straighteners through it just the hair dry section and then the brush on top to help smooth it out because my hair is very frizzy i was finding that if i don't blow dry the top then it was just yeah creating like a halo of frizz so i really love the results of just the blow dry like look at that it's sort of curled a little bit on its own like just using my hairbrush and then the hair dryer also i have just had my hair cut recently so it's already looking a little bit better but as you can see probably needs a little bit of a hair straightener through the top but i wanted to just show you what it was like for somebody who has never been able to blow dry their hair straight really this is like a massive game changer for me and i love how this looks on its own but also i have been trying out the different barrels and i caved and purchased the longer barrels and the reason for this is not because my hair is necessarily really long it's not long at all it's sort of middle mid length isn't it but because when I want to do bigger sections I was finding the hair was sort of coming off the top or coming towards the bottom so the long barrels are quite good to get quite a lot of hair around a barrel if that makes sense so these were 30 pound for the longer ones i think these are quite new but they have really massively helped and i will gravitate towards these over the others so that's something to bear in mind but i obviously didn't know that when i first tried it out so already i haven't necessarily saved too much but i don't know if the longer barrels come with the big kit so just thought i'd throw it out there this honestly only took me like 15 minutes as well okay so i haven't tried this yet like fully blow dry my whole head and then finishing off with the air wrap but i figured that it might look quite nice if we just go in with the thicker barrels and i love this little hack where you look in, in the mirror and you know which way it's going and I just want to try and do the ends on big sections. Take the thing to the back. And I'm literally just going to do the ends. Put the cold air up, turn it off, pull it out, and it creates like a little curl. So we're just going to throw that to the back. This is the sort of vision I had was like straight with like big bouncy ends, if that makes sense. Oh, we've got to switch the... Oh. on first impressions i thought it would be easier to just design it so that you could press a button to turn it either way but actually like when you get the hang of it it's so quick and easy changing out the barrels i've actually loved it more and more as the more i've used it like the more confident i've got the more tutorials i've watched etc etc but okay so Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. It looks so nice. I just love the like bouncy ends. Can you appreciate this? Hello. I should have worn white so you can see. Oh my gosh. Love it. I reckon I can do this in just two sections. Let's clip that back. I cannot believe that this is my hair. Are you ready? No! <laughs> Look! this oh my gosh can we just hang on let's get into some light here we've got to do this justice 
Oh my god. What is going on? This is the most amazing blow dryer I've ever been able to do on my own. So I figured out my technique is clearly blow dry the whole thing. I think I do need to straighten the top layer or I may look into getting the soft brush. But overall, I'm feeling so smug. So I'm going to put a bit of makeup on now, get dressed and then I'll come back. Final thoughts. I do think it's worth the money if you're looking to achieve this at home and you struggle. I am on camera regularly and having nice hair is important to me. It makes me feel good and I really love the results. I think you can do quite a few different types of curls and it's definitely something you have to play around with. But overall, I think it's a brilliant hairdryer. I think it's lovely for curls and I've got a couple of weddings coming up next month and I know that this is gonna make me feel so good. So basically, I probably, in hindsight, should have just gone for the full big package and you know, got all the different tools and whatever. But having saved like a little bit of money on it, I think, is fine. I, I hope that I don't have any problems with it, but I do have a one year warranty. So there are pros and cons definitely to buying, you know, the original full price version versus a refurbished one. But ultimately it does what I need it to do. And as you can see, it's, it's a good little tool. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear your opinion on it. Is it something you would buy? Is it not for you? Is it just way too expensive? Totally get it. It is a pricey investment. And um, I, I, I actually really do think it's great. I think from my perspective, my hair dryer is £100. My Cloud9 hair straighteners are £100. And my um, GHD Curve curling wand, I think that was about £100. So when you add up the amount of money we spend individually on hair tools, I think obviously this doesn't straighten my hair but just to give you some sort of perspective I think we forget how expensive hair tools can be and investing in something like this hopefully will sort of give me the results as if I spent 30 40 quid getting a blow dry every you know few weeks whenever I need to be on camera or go to an event and that kind of thing so it really depends on if you're going to get your money's worth out of it I obviously have no idea what it'd be like on other hair types and if you have thin hair or much thicker hair long hair I don't know I'm only going from my own experience but I just sort of share this with you because, you know, I've always wanted to know what it's like and uh, I feel really lovely. So if you enjoyed this, please click subscribe to my channel because you never know what I might end up buying next. I would love you to subscribe if you're not already. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again in the next ones. Bye.